It's time for the Family Feud. Introducing the Austin family. Leonard, Shirley, Carol, Arlene, and Judy, ready for action. And the Christensen family. Bunny, Vic, Ann, Hal, and Heidi, on your marks. Let's start the Family Feud. With the star of Family Feud, Richard Johnson. Okay, I'll, I'll have one drink, but I should warn you, I don't kiss on the first date. <laughs> we welcome you to Family Feud, where two families battle it out, try and get one or the other out of the game, and then get a chance to win a lot of money. A family that did it yesterday defeated our biggest champs to date, who had won over $12,000, Right here now, the winning family, the Austins. Yes, they did it. How are you? Nice to see you. You know now that you've got $1,099, and that's better than uh, Whistling Dixie, right? Yes, sir. Remind me of the lovely relationship you've got going here. My four beautiful daughters. You're doing good work, Leonard. Nice to see you. My pleasure. Shirley with four little... Babies, right? No, 16 year old son. Oh, really? Yes. I'm trying to make you a very Thank glamorous you, young woman. <laughs> Carol also married two babies. Two, two, two boys. All right. And Arlene, any children? Two. Two? two girls. My goodness, that was quick. <laughs> and Judy. I'm the baby. You're the baby, of course. You'll be my baby. Thank you. I hope you're ready. You're going to be challenged right now by the Christensen. Yes. Let's go. Hello. Hey, Bobby. How are you? Hi, Richard. Welcome. Tell me now the relationship you brought along with you. How are you all related? My husband, my daughter, brother, and niece, Heidi. Okay. Nice to see you. Nice You're to see you. You're a happy homemaker? Oh, I'm a kitchen engineer. You do anything else? <laughs> yes, but I'm not sure I should mention it. Really? <laughs> what do you do? Well, I'm the only female member of the new Los Angeles Maritime Museum trustees. Well, of course you can mention that. Fine. Of course you can. How are you, Vic? Nice How to meet you. you. How's everything? What do you do for a living? I'm a Marine clerk in Los Angeles Harbor. Oh, yeah? What's that little badge? What does that mean? Uh, that's a 10-gallon pin for blood donations to Red Cross. I've actually given over 11, but I don't have the 11-gallon pin yet. My goodness me. <laughs> When they say fill her up, you really fill her up. Huh? <laughs> That's beautiful. Now, this is your pretty daughter? Yes, ma'am. Nice to see you, Hi. Anne. What is that around your neck? This is a pewter and sterling silver grave whale. I belong to the American Cetacean Society. Well, for protection of all the whales? Protection of all marine life. Well, I thank you for that. <laughs> thank you. Now, what was you giving Hal to you? Hal is my uncle. Nice to see you, Hal. What do you do for a living? Good uncle. What do you do? <laughs> I'm building airplanes and a pool of freeways. Are you putting me on, Hal? <laughs> okay, and this would be what, your niece? My niece. Pretty Heidi, nice to see you. You gonna speak up nice and loudly for me? Yeah. Say, ah? Ah. All right, take two aspirin and call me after the show. Okay, I wish the first families the best of luck. Hey, the families, join me for the face -off. Come on, Leonard. All right, Leonard. And you know that we conducted a survey, 100 people, the top answers they gave us are on that board in order of popularity. You've got to try and get the highest scoring answer that you can. As you can see, the top seven answers are there to this question. Give me a word for goodbye in a language other than English. Leonard. Aloha. 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 There it is. Ten of our 100 people said it. The bank has $10 in it. Chance for you, Bonnie. There are two more popular answers. A word for goodbye in a language other than English. Adios. Adios. Show me adios. There it is. Fifty people out of 100 said it. The bank now is worth $60. You control that bank. The way you build the bank up, Bonnie, is you and your family. Just reveal the remaining answers on that board. If you leave any out at all, Leonard here with his family can identify one answer and steal your bank. But as you control the bank, if you like, you can force Leonard's family to play. You can hope they leave something out and you can steal it. What would you like to do? Pass. 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 Play. Pass. Play it. Pass. Play it. Pass. 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 I mean, pass. 
Oh, thank you, dear. Let's see if it works. You're going to pass, Leonard. Okay, good. Here we go. Okay. Five answers. Shirley, give me a word for goodbye in a language other than English. Uh, shalom. 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 Show me shalom. Oh, there we are. Seven people said it. Sixty-seven. Carol. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. That is very interesting. Show me Auf Wiedersehen. Oh. Four people gave us that and then attacked Poland. Arlene. Ciao. Oh, ciao. That's what the Italians say. Show me ciao. There it is. Oh. Eleven people said it. Eighty-two dollars. Two remaining. Maybe you made a mistake here, Christensen. We'll see. Judy? I can't think of the French word. You have three seconds. <laughs> you didn't give me an answer, and that's a strike. Two more strikes, and you'll lose control of this question. Leonard, come back in here. Mm. Three seconds. Give me an answer for goodbye in a language other than English. Ta-ta. <laughs> that's English. No. That's what we say in England. Ta-ta. Goodbye. We're going to say goodbye to you very soon. <laughs> Show me ta -da. Oh. Now, will you believe me? Shirley, two strikes against you. One more. There'll be two answers there that they get a chance to steal the bank. I need a word for goodbye in a language other than English. Three seconds. Skull. Skull. I think that's a toast, but we'll take a look. Know. Skull. <laughs> you got a chance what's here, what's family. Sayonara. Here you go. Sayonara. 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 Don't say that. They'll I mean, attack Pearl Harbor. For good. Don't say sayonara. If we win. If sayonara is there, you will indeed have made the right strategy because you passed and they left two answers and that means that you'll get that money. If it is not there, the Austin family will keep the money. Let's take a look for sayonara. And now, merely for educational purposes, for Leonard, who gave us ta-ta, <laughs> let's see what number six was. Oh, Au revoir, oh, Judy. Oh, That's the word you were thinking. Okay, you have nothing at the moment, Austin. $82 right here. First family that gets $200 wins the game, gets a chance to play for $5,000. Will they do it? Come back right after this. The challengers are challenging. They have $82, the Christensen family. Nothing for our winning family, the Austins, at the moment. Shirley, you're going to try and change that? Vic, come up here, ready for the face-off. Okay, listen to this question, and don't take your hands off until the question's completed, because if I stop, you won't know what the question is. Okay. Took a survey. Seven top answers are there on the board. Try and think of the highest scoring answer when you give it to me to this question. Name a kind of bed. Shirley. Water bed. Show me a water bed. Yeah. Number one answer. If you were watching, you were not watching instant replay. We just had two people who had impediment in their reach. Did you think you were done with the question? The number one answer there. 74. 74 in the bank. You control it. You're going to play. You're going to pass. I think we should pass. I think we should right, play. Let's pass. I think we should play. What are you going to do, pass? Shirley? We're going to pass it. Going to pass it? All right. Let's see how it works out here. Don't hang your head down. And <laughs> name a kind of bed, please. A sleeping bag. A sleeping bed? <laughs> a sleeping bag. Oh, a sleeping bag. Like All when right. You go if you call that a bed, we'll see. A sleeping bag. <laughs> Pull yourself together, Ann. The whales need you. That's one strike. <laughs> Two more strikes, and you're going to lose control of the question. There are six answers. <laughs> Hal, your moment of glory, your moment in the sun. A feather bed. A feather bed. Yeah. Show me a feather bed. Oh. You're doing excellent work. <laughs> Two strikes. One more strike, and you take a look here. They have six answers. Heidi, <laughs> give me a name um, of the bed. A trundle bed. A trundle. trundle? Show me a trundle. <laughs> Wide open. This could be it. A bunk bed. A bunk bed. Bunk bed. Bunk bed. Need an answer, Leonard. Bunk bed. Bunk bed. Yes, sir. Don't be testy. I just asked for an answer. Okay. 
I can't believe this because there are six remaining answers here. We're going to take a look. If bunk bed is there, your strategy will have worked. Only I don't think you thought it would work that easily, right? If not, the Christiansons are going to get it. Show me bunk bed. <laughs> All right. Very good. Friend. You're on the board that now with $74. We got 82 and now a lesson in beds. Let me see the number two bed, please. King size. Oh, king size bed. Twin size. What about number three? Twin. Twin bed. Twin bed. That's a bed oh, where you have... Yeah. <coughs> Show me <laughs> number four. Breast, Breast bed. Breast bed. Let's see number six. Double, Double bed. bed. I'll drink to that, I said Heidi. Show me no. number seven. So a sofa bad. bed. Oh, oh, and Hal, your answer and Anne's absolutely marvelous. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back in a minute to see how this is all going to work out. Thank you. We have a ball game going here. Christian family, $82. 74 for the Austins. Carol, your chance to shine. Come on, Ann. You're going to play the face off. Okay. Right. Leonard, just keep out of this, please. <laughs> we took a survey, right? This is the third question, and this is the most important question because all the dollar values are doubled, and they will be doubled until we get a winner. All right? So this is very okay. important. Took a survey. The top five answers are there on the board to this question. Try and think of the highest scoring answer when you buzz in. Name something that people put ketchup on to eat. And hamburgers. Show me hamburgers. The number one answer. Thirty-eight people said hamburgers. We double it. There are seventy-six dollars in that bank. You control the bank. Are you going to play? Play. Gonna play. play. Make Carol. Gonna play? You're gonna play? Gonna play. All right. We we'll rejoin our families and see. Here's old featherbed Hal. <laughs> Something that people put ketchup on to eat. Hot dogs. Right. <laughs> say yes. Say yes. What's up, Daddy? Yeah, come here. Let me explain. We have a sound man who has a, <laughs> has a family. Wants to go home, hear the kids talk. What are you? <laughs> Say this very calmly for me. Just say, hot dogs. Hot dog. Isn't that much easier? Yeah. Thank you. Make love, not war. <laughs> Show me hot dogs. Ooh, there yay. it is. 17 people said that. $110 in the bank. Heidi, what do people put ketchup on to eat? French fries. French fries? Let me see French fries. There they are. Thirty-seven people said it, and hundred and eighty-four dollars. This is going to decide it, you know. Bonnie, I need something that people put ketchup on to eat. Eggs. Eggs. <laughs> Let me see eggs. Yeah. One more answer. You've got a clean sweep right here. I need something that people put ketchup on to eat. Vic. Roast. Roast. <laughs> You're a sick man. <laughs> Show me roast. <laughs> Did not make our top. Two more strikes and you'll lose control of the question. And give me an answer. Hash browns. Hash browns. Show me. <laughs> not there. Hal, I need an answer. Something that people put ketchup on to eat. Steaks. Show me a steak. Well, Annie buzzed in there, got the first, and once she controlled that bank, they decided to play and they did it. We have one thousand and ninety-nine dollars for you to share. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nice hand, please, with the Austin family. You do that? Okay, Bonnie. We're going to play fast money. I need your two best players. Vic and Ann. Vic and Ann. Ann. All right, come on up here. Uh, you're going to go second, Vic. Second's harder. Go to the soundproof booth. And come with me. We'll take a commercial and return. Good job. We are here with Ann. We're going to play Fast Money. You're not nervous, are you? No, I'm of fine. Not. Of course not. Honest. You're not. You're not afraid of a whale. You're not going to be nervous of a game No show, way. Right? No way. Vic is in a soundproof booth. Cannot hear anything at all. This is how we play. I ask you five family feud questions. 
You give me five answers within 15 seconds. Right. Try and think of the highest scoring answers that you can because we pay you $5 for every point that you score. But if you and Vic can score 200 points or more, we'll we're going to be delighted to give your family $5,000. We'll do it. Okay? We're going to do it. We're going to do it. All right. Yeah, we're going to do it. Could I have 15 seconds on the clock, please? The time will start when I finish reading the first question. Talk nice and loudly so we hear your answers. Good luck. Name a fruit with seeds. Strawberry. Name an expensive car. Cadillac. Name a meat you get from a pig. Pork. Name any month of the year. December. Name something you'd find in the desert. Cactus. That's five. Good girl. <laughs> Good girl. And now before Captain Ahab comes, we're going to turn around and see how well you did with the survey, okay? Okay. Now, we asked you to name a fruit with seeds, and you said strawberry. Our survey said only oh. two people said that. Name an expensive car. You said a Cadillac. Our survey said 25. That's better. Yeah. <laughs> then we said name a meat you get from a pig. You said pork. Our survey said 48. And we said, name any month of the year. And you said December. Is that your birthday month? Yes. The survey yes. said 12 oh, wow. people. Got 87 December points. Name something you'd find in the desert. You said cactus. Our survey said 39. Oh, you got one, 26. Hear that board, please. Don't get old, Vic. You did fantastically you. well. Rejoin your family. We'll see how well Vic does. Come on, Vic. Oh, right, that's a clever young lady here. I want you to stand there. Do not turn around, all right? You need 74 points, and you will get $5,000. I said going second was harder, and it is. I asked the same questions that I asked Anne. You cannot duplicate her answers. If you do, you hear this sound. I'll say try again, then give me another answer if you can, all right? Yes, sir. If you really get hung up on a word, say pass, and we'll go on to the next one. You need 74. As it is harder, we give you 20 seconds on the clock, please. Remind all our viewers at home the answers that Ann gave us. We wish you luck. The time will start when I finish reading the first question. Name a fruit with seeds. Apple. Name an expensive car. Rolls Royce. Name a meat you get from a pig. Pork loin. Try again. Pork chops. Try again. Pork roast. You want to pass? Pass. Name any month of the year. January. Name something. Uh, oh, happy day. Okay. Now, you needed 74. You got stuck on there. The word pork had already been used. So anytime you said pork, we needed something. We'll take a look and see what the survey said. Come close to me now. You can win a lot of money right now. We asked you to name a fruit with seeds. You said apple. Our survey said 30. <laughs> That's why you needn't feel bad. That was the number one answer that you gave us. <laughs> and we said name an expensive car. And you're only 44 points away from the big money. Expensive car. You said Rolls Royce. Our survey said 30. <laughs> That also was the number one answer. Then we said, name a meat that you get from a pig. You kept saying pork. Pork was the number one answer given by uh, Anne. You didn't give us an answer. You could have said ham or bacon, but you didn't, so that's zero. And then we said, and you need five points to win the big money, name any month of the year. And I don't know why you said January. Oh. Is that your birthday month? No, absolutely not. It's not? not? First one of the year. Our survey said...
You nearly hugged me to death. <laughs> I'll do it but again. you have every right to. You have five thousand two hundred and seventy-eight dollars. <laughs> You, you were both good players. By the way, uh, you never got to the last one because you got hung up with the wonderful world of pork. <laughs> but something you'd find in the desert was catkiss, and you gave us that. That was the number one. In the survey, someone also had camel. And for an expensive car, by the way, also in the survey, someone said Dotson. <laughs> Well, that person who voted, give me a call. I'd like to talk to you about some swamp land I'm trying to get rid of. You said a very nice thing, Bonnie, just before you said, one more big win like that and what? And our daughter has a car. Going to buy her a car? You're right. That's a nice family. Won't you join us tomorrow? We have more nice families all playing here with love and excitement on the family, too. We love you. Take care. So, what'd you think of that two-hour conference call? Brutal. Whoa, where'd you find that? Internet. How come you wear so much cologne? I don't like to shower. You'll be buzzing all week from Game Show Network's Sunday Night Buzz. First it's Lingo, then Chuck Woolery Naturally Stone, GSN's first reality show. Then comics go joke to joke on National Lampoon's Funny Money, plus special episodes of Celebrity Cram. Catch a buzz that'll last all week. Sunday Night Buzz, Sundays at 9, Eastern and Pacific. This is Gene Wood speaking for Family Feud. A Mark Goodson, Bill Todman production.